All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhak Wadash, the Bahanners, to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalawan salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalawan to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalawan to you. It said, Enter not in the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. And you should be able to discern what's right and wrong. That's why a lot of people is going to be guilty. Because you see wickedness and you see righteousness, but you love wickedness more than righteousness. So you call the righteous men and women, you know, who believe in the Lord and truth and sincerity, you know, who actually try to do the right thing. They are considered righteous in the eyes of the Lord. But you call them, you know, hateful. You you look at them, you know, as bad to the society. And I'm talking about you two third Israelites. Like when you come around, you put a bad taste in everybody's mouth just because you want to live your life right. So if you want to continue to keep going down that path, we're going to see who, you know, as they say in the world, the light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to see who reached that light. Avoid it, pass, not by it, turn from it and pass away. So we have one job. Our job, if you're a prophet, you're going to prophesy. You're going to make your body a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service. If you're a believer and you're a man, you should be out there in a camp. And I'm talking about not in a camp, but, you know, the people on the spectators. I believe that the Lord will have more respect for a man who's actually on the highways and byways, even if he ain't teaching. Then to be sitting on your couch watching YouTube. You know, so the path of the wicked is everything that you see before you. I always say this because this is what makes it real simple, because if somebody ever asks me, what well, is the path of righteousness? You know, look into the world and do the opposite. <laughs> that's how that's how easy the Lord have made it. Because this place is literally contrary to everything that the Lord stand for. So when you see wickedness, you're supposed to turn from it instead of going head first into it. And that's what our people do. You can't say that you didn't know because the Lord said, even though that uh, darkness going to cover the earth and grows darkness to people. But he said that you should be a light in the midst of those people. So you see the light, you reject the light. You're supposed to be like a fly when you see that light. You know, a mosquito, when you see that light, you're supposed to come towards the light, you know. But this video is more about, you know, the mindset. The mindset of the Lord is simple. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. The Lord don't ask for much. It said, but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that your mind should be corrupted. That is in the simplicity that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, you know, through his sacrifice, we are able to be reconciled back to the father through him. So he gave us instructions. And as I say in first John I want to say five and yeah, first John five and three. That, you know, the laws of the Lord are not grievous. You think the Lord don't understand the type of situation that we are in? Some people can't keep the Sabbath all the time. Some people can't even keep high holy days, but that's why you got scriptures talking about, you know, every man esteem a day above a one and another and another man esteem every day alike. Who are you to judge another man's serv uh, servant? That's in Romans 14. So we all have our walk. We all have our situations. So the Lord, he gave you. It's not hard to not sleep with another man's woman. It's not hard to not kill, steal, bear false witness, uh, serve other gods, honor your father and mother. It's not hard to walk in the spirit, man. See, the flesh, and this is why prayer is key. You know, the Lord told us that the flesh and the spirit are going to war. So that means that that's a fight that 
you always going to have until we changed. But you know, the, the Lord gave us a defense system, prayer, prayer, and also repentance. When you do have evil thoughts, you can repent. You can repent. You can rebuke those thoughts. The Lord knows your heart. You know, you got wicked people who say things like that because they really don't believe. They say only God could judge me because they don't believe that God going to judge them. That's a scapegoat. So, you know, the message is just to keep your eye single, man. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. All the things that's going on in the world right now, your eyes should be occupied on prophecy. It said, be steadfast in your covenant be and be conversant therein and wax old in your work. The scripture says, knowing that these things shall come to pass, what uh, manner of man you ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness. Second Peter 3 and 11. So you see these things come to pass. These are the things you need to be speaking on. These are the things that you need to be meditating on. Everything else. Listen, the world is going to continue to go on. This is a movie. All right. And everybody got a script and a role to play. But as the movie continue to go on, you got to play your role. You got to play your role. And everything that happens. All right. I wonder what this person had to say. Um, But yeah, so everything that happens. You got to understand that as the saying on second Peter's three and four. Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as it were from the beginning. You know, it's saying, where is the promise of his coming? Because, you know, the world continue. The, uh, the prophets of old, they prophesied, they wrote it down. And then guess what? We got the prophecies today. Now we interpreted them. They got they received a vision of them. We received the understanding of them. We are the forefathers coming back, interpreting the words that we heard of old. So now, you know. This is where our mind's supposed to be at. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. That word vision goes in to divine oracles, prophecy. So that's why, you know, the people of this world, they, they, they don't care about anything else but this world. And the Lord clearly said that if you love this world, you are enmity with the Lord. So it said, marvel not at the work of sinners, but trust in the Lord. And this is the point. The sinners is winning right now. They have received a consolation. But don't marvel at that. Because nobody go unpunished into their grave. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Envy not the glory of a sinner, because you know the sinners be winning. For you know it's not what its end shall be. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they shall not go unpunished to their grave. We all must come to the judgment seat. This is why we persuade men by the fear to terror of the Lord. So, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord, abide in your labor, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. I always say this. I use this as an example because I meditate on it a lot. So right now you got the men of the Lord, you know, who works nine to five. Some of us don't even work right now, you know, so we're considered poor. And guess what? When the economy crash, that paper dolly, that paper dollar that you put your faith in when it crashed, then what? That's when the men of the Lord is going to be rich and you're going to be poor. The Lord going to turn everything right side up because see, in that time, you're going to need covering on the Lord. Your money ain't going to be able to save you. You ain't going to be able to buy nothing. The only way you're going to be be able to buy is if you take the Karagma, the mark of the beast. And guess what? If you take that, we you know the consequences of that. So every time I read this scripture. I meditate on it. I'll be like, yeah. Just imagine if, if we today, all right, later on, breaking news, economy crash, no more currency, no more paper currency. 
Right then and there, the men of the Lord is exalted. All because of the promises that the Lord have given us. How his service is going to eat and drink. But the people going to be vex, vexation and howling the spirit. You know, they're not going to be able to eat and drink. They don't have the covering of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So. It said the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly and suddenly he make his blessing flourish suddenly. Just like suddenly the uh, the storehouse is going to appear unsown. Second Ezra 6 and 22. That's what's going to happen. One day you're going to wake up. Store is going to be empty. No food going to be in there. Your car going to decline. Then what? The men of the Lord going to be exalted by staying faithful. Some of us as young men. So I, I, as the world say, you know, our good years, you know, we forsake the good years. For for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but it's not because, you know, we had anything to do with it. The Lord just had mercy. So. Now going on, um, my fact, yeah, let me get that. I, I mentioned it. Keeping your eyes single. So it said for where your treasures is there, where your heart be also. Because when you meditate on the kingdom of heaven, you're doing things and you meditating on things that will get you to the kingdom of heaven. So where your heart is, your heart is where your desires and your attentions come from. That's how you store your treasures in heaven. When you met, when you meditate and you walk in the ways of the Lord. Everything else, listen, life is going on around you. That's just what it is. Don't be distracted, though. Don't be distracted. See, the scripture said, use the world, not as abusing it. That means you ain't trying to do any and everything that the world have to offer, but you, you can use it. If the government want to give you some food stamps, hell yeah, take that shit because shit, we deserve it. But at the end of the day, when you're trying to go to every concert, take every vacation, indulge in every... um. Activity that the world got to offer, that's not that's not um setting your treasures upon heaven, man. You're gonna get destroyed. That's what's gonna happen. Because your eye not single. So it said the light of the body is the eye, and therefore, if your eye be single, your whole body should be full of light. When you when you only care about this truth and don't allow nobody to make you feel like you're crazy because this is what your heart is. The scripture says, Out the out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So if you see a man that's always talking about women, that's that's his desires. If you see a man always talking about, hey, man, you heard that new rap song? That's his desires. So when you see a man always meditate and talk about prophecy, talk about hey, the Lord on his way, the Lord going to destroy this place. So the F what? If you got a problem with it. I'm not about to. Now, here's the thing. Don't be overrighteous. You can have a regular conversation with a regular man or woman. All right. But the point is, you know where your heart lie. You know, that's what you think about. And don't ever compromise your morals, you know, for somebody. Because they don't got no kingdom to put you in, no salvation to give you. You're going to perish with them. So it says, but if your eye be evil, which means that your eyes here, there and everywhere. But if your eye be evil, your whole body should be full of darkness because you have no self-control, no discipline. Oh, this look nice. That look nice. This look nice. Oh, yeah, I like that, too. If therefore the light that is in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters. And this the reason I'm reading this one is because, you know, money is still a stumbling block because money have been made God in this world. You can't do nothing without it. So people do whatever it takes to get it. The Lord said that, you know, matter of fact, in the rest of this chapter, it talks about. That the Lord going to provide for you. You know food and raiment. Godliness with contentment is great gain. So if you got a roof over your head. Closing your back and daily bread. You are blessed. But guess what? This world push materialism. So you think you want. Oh I want to keep up with the Joneses. I want, I want what he got. I want what she got. Watch. The day is coming. That the things that you have right now. You're going to wish that you had. But you was ungrateful the whole time. 
So no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve the most high man. And man is a deity that goes into riches. So you got a lot of people who chasing an illusion, which is called the American dream and put God in the back burner. Like, oh, I think I'm gonna do this first. So we're gonna see how that work out for you. So um, to end it, what is that? <clears throat> I have set Yahweh always before me because he is my right hand. Right hand goes into your strength. I shall not be moved. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. We rest in the Lord. That's why we don't worry about nothing. And you should know the truth and the truth should make you free. That makes you rejoice. Understanding that there's an end to this shit, man. And it said, for you will not leave my soul in hell. That's twofold. Let's talk about in the grave and also in this hellish condition because we in captivity. And it said, neither will you suffer your holy one to see corruption. And, and that's because the Lord is the one that's going to uphold you. The scripture says that can't nobody pluck us out of his hand. You got to believe that, though. And it said, you, you will show me the path of life in your presence in the fullness of joy at your right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. That's the kingdom. That's what we fight for. We fight for everlasting life when people out here are just trying to fight to get a record deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm, tr I'm trying to chase my dreams. I want to be a rapper. I want to be an actor. I want to be in the NBA. That's a corruptible crown. But our crown is incorruptible. So all praises to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying. Inshallah.